Hello, uh, welcome to dot programming dot blogspot dot com. Today I will show you how to perform your tag change event in ASP dot net MVC. Actually, uh, when we press uh, your uh, when we press tab key from your text boxes, then move to the next text boxes, and on that time your tag change event is occurred. So many web form users faces that types of problem that types of problem is actually removed by using the jquery so add a view model class to uh, demonstrate that example clearly in in which we can add a class a simple class and add three text boxes in the view sections just after uh, this when we press one uh, text boxes when we move from the one text boxes to other then on that text boxes I will get the result okay so here we have a uh, three public properties that's the first number stored in integer and also the second number is stored in the second integer and result will get also in the third variable that is result okay that is the second number that's fine in the view section add a view and also you can use empty without model also use empty with the model that is addition that is view model we have okay in the view model we can get the first number and the last number by using model so using html dot begin form in this form I have need uh, three text boxes first two text boxes I will take some inputs like 5 and 6 when we press when we press tab key and move or you can say focus out from the second text boxes on that time our jQuery is run and get the output in the second text boxes okay so that is fine text box for and bind this uh, with the model text box for m model dot second number okay that's fine second number now uh, getting the result on your third number in teaser and my property what that is result okay that's fine in the view model class in the sections of the view section getting result on the third and uh, number that is at the rate of HTML text box for and getting value on the third number that is result or you can say the third text boxes okay that's too much fine add jquery script just after your uh, form and add a script tag a simple jquery you can add it here uh, like the function and get uh, actually the third text boxes first of all here so what is the logic it here that is uh, parse int is a function name uh, by this we can convert our actual number into the integer so here we have a get the id of the uh, result text boxes that is the third text box dot a value and what value uh, i will set in it here that is parse int in it we can in this function we can 
take tax boxes value so pass int get the first number by using their id property also the first number dot value use the plus sign and copy this from the parse string oops and for the second text box and the logic is when that function is run actually that function is run on the blur when we move to the second text boxes to the third text boxes so on the second text box we can use blur function in jquery oops control c and b change the second text box blur second number replace with the result and blur function apply on and also generate a new function on your blur action that's fine it's too much simple and too much interesting so run it keep enjoy your output and uh, learn many more things about asp.net mvc because uh, that pattern is very wonderful pattern and remove uh, many things uh, like the view states and sectors okay so remove this and run it again your form is same i think it's too much easy and up if you apply then learn clearly and smoothly and securely okay so check your output and learn my videos so thank you thank you very much for watching this video tutorial and keep watching enjoy yourself thank you thank you very much